Good evening. Tonight you will be witnesses to the most horrifying tale of this Hallow's Eve. Our story begins at a cemetery near the underwater town of Bikini Bottom, where a disaster is about to occur. Hey Tony, I don't think we're supposed to pour this radioactive waste on this Indian burial ground. Huh. Okay, first of all, Mark, it's Native American. And second, don't worry about it. I saw the mistake and dumped the waste next to the burial ground. Oh, perfect. Wait a minute. What's next to the burial ground? Eh, who cares? Wanna get some Krabby Patties? Sure. I'm driving. Now we journey to the Krusty Krab, where a local fry cook prepares meals for customers who have no idea what's coming their way. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Um, uh, no, nothing. Continue what you're doing. Oh, okay. SpongeBob, quick turn to the ceiling and get those orders out. Okay, Mr. Krabs. Here you go, buddy. Thanks, SpongeBob. Sorry I couldn't go trick-or-treating with you this year. Mr. Krabs really wanted to bring in that Halloween cash, if you know what I mean. Uh, no problem. I just ended up going with Old Man Jenkins. Cool. Wait, where is Old Man Jenkins? Well, we got stuck arguing with some dude, so he just left. Jenkins, how many times do I have to tell you this? It's one candy bar per person. And in fact, in the Great Pacific War of 1963, just to have some city folk like yourself tell me what I can and cannot have, if I want another Nutter Bar, I'll take another Nutter Bar. Huh. God dang it, chickens, this happens every year. <laughs> hey, nicely done, Jenkins. I'll say, you always were good at getting us candy. No, you can't be back. How? No, no, no! Hey, look on the bright side, Pat. Because you're wearing a costume, you're automatically entered into the drawing to win that jar of candy over there. Along with a $5 fee, of course. Really? Awesome! Attention! Anyone who doesn't want to go home under this better hand over their candy right now. Uh... No, thank you. Seize them! Yarr! Huh? Thing is, what are you talking about? Who's back? The candy pirates! Wait, did it just lightning in the crusty- <laughs> Um, who are the candy pirates? It was years ago when I was a youngster. I was having a great Halloween until they showed up. How many times do I have to tell you, young man Jenkins, it's one candy bar per person? Father didn't fight in the Great Arctic War of 1855 for me not to get that extra candy bar. Oh, <laughs> God dang it. I really hope this isn't a yearly thing with him. Uh, I'm having a great Halloween. And that's when they showed up. Well, well, looks like young man Jenkins brought us some candy. Actually, this is mine. Get him, boys. They took everything from me that day. My candy, my pride, and my underwear. <laughs> Wait, what happened to the candy pirates? Well, let's just say their demise wasn't very sweet. Ah, uh, look at our bounty boys. Nothing can stop the candy pirates. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't like taffy. Oh well. <laughs> no offense, old man chickens, but they sound pretty dead. I thought so too, until tonight, when they once again took my candy, my pride, and my underwear. Yeah, I was gonna mention that. Could you put some pants on?
You don't get it, boy. The candy pirates can smell candy, and they'll be here for that jar any minute. Did somebody say the candy pirates? Please stop saying candy pirates. <laughs> don't tell me those hooligans are back. Mr. Krabs, you know about the candy pirates? Hey, SpongeBob. When I was a lad. I don't mean to stop you, Mr. Krabs, but we kind of already saw Old Man Jenkins' flashback, so we really don't need another. Well, did they steal his underwear too? Yeah. Also, these pirates kind of seem like creeps. Listen, Krabs, you've got to get rid of that jar of candy! No way, that candy cost me a fortune. But if you don't, they'll- Hey, uh, do you smell toxic waste? Yeah, we should get out of here. Ahoy! I smell a great bounty. Why, hello there, sir. Could I find you and your fine gentleman a seat? SpongeBob, you numbskull, those are the candy pirates. What? But they're not even made out of candy. That's not what I... what? Don't worry, everyone. I'll go get help. Patrick Fett. Away! I have no idea how to stop this jetpack! Well, if it isn't Eugene Krabs and Jenkins, we meet again. Still haven't found any underwear, I see. No thanks to you. What sickos go around stealing people's underwear? Hey, don't judge us. They're the only material good enough to wash our ship. Also, Philip likes to use them for crocheting. I'm knitting a sweater. Not the time, Philip. Anyway, hand over that jar of candy. Never. Today I take a stand against you, candy pirates. Yeah! <laughs> Come at us then. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that escalates so fast! <laughs> nice shot. Thanks, you too. <laughs> you idiots were zombies. Mere bullets cannot hurt us. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I forgot old man Jenkins wasn't wearing any pants, and I am not getting that image out of my head. Get em, boys. Ah, uh, the candy is ours. What? This is made out of plush. What? You thought I'd spend money on that much real candy? That would be like 60 bucks. Mr. Krabs, I thought you said you paid a fortune for that candy. Yeah, 15 old dollars. That's like a three month salary for your boy. I don't understand, but we smell the aroma of something irresistible coming from this place. Wait a minute, Captain Cod. Ugh. I think I know what you guys were smelling. Oh my gosh, this crabby patty is amazing. Much better than any candy I've ever had. Well, it looks like everything turned out well in the end. The pirates now only crave crabby patties instead of candy. Woman Jenkins finally got his pants back. Hooray! I got my pants back! As payment for their crabby patties, the pirates are letting the kids play on their ship. Yeah, and what's even better is I'm charging the kids to play in the things. And thus ends our perpetuous tale about candy thieves. Join us next week for our story is even more terrifying. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing in my recording booth? Aha! Uh -huh, I finally got the hang of it. Go! Oh!